going on, everybody? Here to give you guys a review for the Real Households of Atlanta. I feel that went up a little bit. <laughs> Too much of the brim. That's a strong one right now. Woo! Y'all already know I had to have me some tea. Go with this fuck shit. So, before... Alright, fuck. We just gonna jump right into it. So, Kenya and Phaedra, they are being... Uh, Thelma and Louisa, and I think it's cute, especially given their past and where they once were. It is nice to see that they are acting like two uh, grown, mature women. I, I actually do like that. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now we get the whole camp life. Kenya is not here for the camp life. She is not. And, you know, she's like, would you be mad? She says to Victor, would you be mad if I go get a hotel? She said at the Hilton, something like that. And they got throw a shade at each other in their wait no 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 fake you through hers in the confessional saying uh, something about this isn't the ritz and all this other stuff and i appreciate you you're used to something like this and then kenya pretty much threw her shade and it was one of those where you know uh she's more used to this than her and the whole prison thing and, I mean, it's one of those where, Kenya, you were wrong, but, I mean, at least you threw your shade right there. And, I mean, hey, you know, that, like, the bed right there is better than the blow-up mattress any day of the week, I'm just saying. Um, I, One thing I didn't like is that uh, Phaedra was saying that I raised this money so I could bless and all this other stuff. And this is one of those where, again, that shows you that whole ideology of people. Where especially if we're going to sit here and use Christianity, since she wants to be such a Bible thumbing Christian, wasn't that one, wasn't that sin that got somebody cast out of heaven? Wasn't it pride? Didn't he say to God, you know, I will be like the hope most high, I will ascend, I, 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 I. So, okay. Hopefully she did it for all the right reasons. So now we got Horsha and Todd now. Todd says that uh, her Instagram pictures and whatnot got her in trouble, the whole. Them being at the, uh, you know, Democrat National Convention, in addition to them being all herped up with each other, his boss did not, you know, really see it for it, so he had a decision to make. Either he was going to pick their relationship, or he was going to pick um, his job. Now, Ty decided he wanted to go Disney, oh, and I asked him what not, and he said he and chose love over job security. And this is one of those where... I don't keep it all the way funky. There were, I, I think from where I stand, that shows that he actually loved that he was willing to sacrifice his livelihood for her. She flipped that shit on his ass so quick, talking about some, you know, that was stupid. Why did you do that? Oh, hold on, got to pause. Why did you do that? And, you know, you kind of flipped my th stuff upside down because, you know, I wasn't looking for a relationship. I was just looking for a baby. Now, you trying to sit here... Yeah, real? No, no, we're not gonna do that today. You are sitting here saying that. Fuck it, I'm just gonna go there. You saying that you did not want a relationship, you just wanted a family. You just wanted a baby. So what you're pretty much saying is all he was good for was to donate his sperm. If that's all the fuck you want, he could have took yourself to a month of the sperm bank. Also trying to blame the fact that she's not in her house on him saying how, you know, I moved out of my house and I was gonna, you know, get this place, but then you made me think that we were going to do this and da, da 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 and so pretty much what you're saying is you can't blame decisions you made on him he solely said i chose us over my job rather than her saying i chose to do these things she wants to sit here and blame him but he's the dumb one he's a childish one i mean here's the thing love you know hey love will make you do right love will make you do wrong make you come home early stay out all night long i don't know if y'all know what that's from now but that shit happened. You know, they hug it out, kiss it out. It is what the fuck it is. But you know what, Ty, on some real shit, was that the best decision? Probably not. But the fact that, you know, she doesn't value you in that decision, bro, you just need to go ahead and leave, man. All right, so the whole Flynn thing is uh, going over well. Like I said, you know, it, like I said, it's one of those where regards to how I may feel about the intentions of why it was done, the end result is that it was much needed and it still brings light to the fact that, you know, our brothers and sisters, regardless of, you know, um, ethnicity and religion still need our help down there. And it's nice that light is being, sh you know, shunned upon that. 
I was just saying that, like, y'all not gonna get me to cry. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, Candy, and Cindy, Cindy is over there, and Candy making a big deal out of her bringing home groceries and all this other stuff. Hey, my whole thing is this. <clears throat> That's a good friend. That's like, <clears throat> I'm going to bring my own food so I got to eat up your shit. I'm already being inconvenient, so I'm going to say I'm going to bring some shit with me. You feel what I'm saying? So I thought that was cool. The only thing that got me is, so the first appraisal was, <clears throat> what the fuck is this show? What the? Who? Oh, like Terry's movie. I think this is something that I, okay, damn it. Okay, hold on, hold on. Y'all y'all know sometimes when I'm looking over here, I do this. Making good care his credit role, and it was I swear I did this on one of my trending topics about all four of them being loved by the tip. I don't, I might watch it. Lifetime be fucking up though. But um, how is it that your second appraisal is way less than your third appraisal is? Here's the thing: you need to fire, you know, um, you know, Flabby or Flabby or Flabby, whatever the fuck her. You need to fire her. You she don't need to work with you no more, no more. All right, that's 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 that fuck shit right there. Um, let me see. Nah, 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 nah. Sheree and Bob. All I'm gonna say is this: Sheree, you ain't shit. When you are asked what was it about Bob that attracted you, that's what you should have already had an answer pre-programmed in your mind. You fucking up, cause you gonna need him to help you with that chateau. Fucking up. And tired and all, Porsche. I'm not gonna get that too much motherfucking energy. But this is one of those things where, regardless of what the fuck I'm seeing on here right now, a, a decision has to be made on somebody's part. You feel what I'm saying? And that, I mean, that's pretty much as it. I mean, you know, she got mad, and you know, he hit up with the you know late night poking and everything because you know she works and does all this other stuff. But here's the reality: if you mad at him giving you a late night poke, what's gonna happen when your baby is uh waking you up with that late night cry? I'm just saying, I know it's that was the noise that I'm trying to compare, but I mean, it's one of those things where it's just like, if it's that serious, it is what it is. I know some real shit. I mean, you using him as a fucking storyline because as we all know, the reason she didn't get her peach, I mean, it was two seasons ago, is because she failed to um, talk about her love life. So, okay, she just sitting here fucking for a plot line, whatever. All right, so uh, it's the girls' lunch, and Phaedra tells all of them that she wants them to go to uh, an adult camp. Sounds fair enough. Uh, Kenya, um, I forget exactly how we segue into it, but brought up um, that we'll say it's abortion. Well, you know, when I talked to Phaedra, you know, she said to me how um, you wanted to tell everybody how your progress in um, anger management was going. Now, of course, Bravo is shady and empty. They rolled it back, and that's for what is worth exactly what Phaedra said. I'm just being nice to say they damn real names right now. And, um, of course, uh, you quickly saw that irritated the hell out of, um, out of Portia. And, of course, <laughs> in the, you know, phrase of, uh, Mr. James Colwell, uh, Faye started to backpedal and pussy pop, but she had to do some mental gymnastics to try to convey what she meant. And, of course, you have Kenya. Hey, I'm gonna say this. Kenya gonna poke the bear. She is. But Kenya is going to give us the drama or help stir up the drama that we need for the show. The only thing is she needs to be ready to have those hands if the shit comes her way. But, of course, Kenya is one of those where she can get you with her mouth. So she poses saying, is it working? Are you on medication? Do you know your triggers? All these things that you get a certificate just like literally poking. And there was a point partial part of the way through that uh, Portia's like, I don't like the tone and how you coming at me. So Cynthia jumps in like, okay, well, what is this? What is that? And, you know, of course, <clears throat> Portia feels attacked. And and this goes back to, again, I swear, all of my reviews are starting to blend the fuck together at this point. Real fucking talk, you ain't got to explain shit to no fucking body. Because she was upset. She was like, if y'all really care, it would have been a phone call. Here's the thing, you she didn't have to answer a damn thing, but the fact of but once you start answering, it is at that point that yes, people are gonna start jumping in. But you know, when you are comfortable in your shit and you wear your crown, you can dictate the pace of a conversation. She didn't have that. And she started to get in her feelings. And you know, of course, uh Porsche is talking that mad bull swanky in her damn confessionals. So I know that she can come back when Candy catch it. 
But you know, she talking about piggyback, and I, I guess that word, that phrase, uh, did not sit well with uh, you know, Miss uh, Tight Teeth Candy, and she was just like, well, you need to piggyback your ass all fuck on up. So this, the, whew, I wonder if this is gonna be that what we saw in the blogs of those two going at it. We shall surely fucking see. Okay, so things start to get a little bit um elevated, if you will. So this is not what we what I was expecting that was gonna happen tonight. So um Portia and not like uh being cursed at. Gannon pretty much told her, I will cuss at whoever the fuck I want to. <laughs> pretty much one of those I'm a grown ass woman, I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do. At the same exact time, again, and I I say this to you know those that I work with, you know that we have to be the change that we want to see, but the only thing that we can change or alter in any given situation is ourself, whether it be how we act, how we respond to things, whatever the case may be. So you can't sit here and tell somebody what they can do, but the only thing you can control is how you react to it, which is kind of what I've been trying to convey. But, you know, the spirit's been hitting the spirit. So... They get to arguing and whatnot, and it gets to a point where I think uh, Candy was getting to the ground to get some water, and uh, damn it, Portia decides she wants to leave. So Kenya is leading the charge of you know, let's go see what is wrong with her. Should Kenya have been the one? No, again, but we know what Kenya's role on this show is. This could have come from a place of genuine concern. I don't see it. And and you had um, Phaedra who was even saying like uh 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 you probably gonna provoke her even more and then of course can you hold logic is well if her physical therapy not uh, physical therapy come on come on y'all we're not physical therapy if her anger management <laughs> is working then it shouldn't be a problem me coming over there and um, Portia does her best to diffuse the situation then she leaves so now the remainder of the girls began to uh, converse. And you have Charade pretty much saying, okay, will you provoke? I don't think it was she that said that somebody, I think it might have been uh, Phaedra just like, well, you do, you, you kind of provoke her. And Charade jumped in because she needed a scene. And it's like, well, you do provoke people. It's that third. And it was at that moment that, okay, first and foremost, even though, yes, they're all having that conversation, that shit was kind of aggressive. So, I mean, Naturally, can you just like, well, you, and oh, I'm sorry. She then went on to say, I mean, because what about Matt? We all know that you provoked him to do what he did now, right? <laughs> went too damn far. Like, that, that I was just like, oh, you voting for that. So it was at that point that Kenya kind of was just like, okay, well, fuck it, you know, because you went to a place you shouldn't have went to. She was like, well, didn't you also provoke, you know, a man to go oops upside your motherfucking head? Because Kenya's whole thing is, for someone to have dealt with domestic violence, you shouldn't be so free-flowing with that at the mouth. Everybody handles things differently and whatnot. So this sends Charade in a fucking tizzy in the uproar and whatnot. So now they're really going back and forth. And then, Char not Charade, Kenya ducks walk on that ass. I was amazed that she ducks walk in heels. I've never done it. I don't have... Here's a, I don't have great balance. I don't have great hand eye coordination. None of that shit. Which is part of the reason I don't play school. I can't catch. I can't do none of that shit. So the fact that she. Kudos to you, Kenya. But everybody. Everybody. No, no. Not everybody leaves your shit. Now, Portia had already left. If I didn't already say that. And, of course, um, Phaedra texts her. One thing I would notice is y'all will see how quickly there was a change in lighting. So this is one of those where I'm pretty sure Bravo's just like, nah, y'all didn't give us, y'all didn't give us some more fucking, mm -mm, y'all not leaving just yet. And Phaedra texts uh, Portia, but I'm pretty sure Bravo also texts her as like, if you want to get paid for uh, this this portion of shooting, you might want to bring your ass the fuck back. She comes back and pretty much says to um, Phaedra, I'm I'm cool with talking to you, just not Kenya. Everybody pretty much disperses except for Sheree, Portia, and uh, Phaedra. They go up there and they start talking. And Sheree did not like the fact that Kenya directed all the ammunition at her. But at the same exact time, you even though they all were right there, you jumped in 
And not only did you come at her, you brought her relationship up, regardless of if, I'm not saying regardless, because yes, I mean, you put shit out there, I put out a lot of shit about my own personal life, so it's fair game for anybody to talk about. But given this particular situation, kind of didn't warn it, but the fact that you went there, you have to accept what the fuck comes back at you. You just have to. So, it's almost done. You I need a bitch twig on that one. So, alright, so, um, they're sitting down. And Portia is inquiring about what the fuck did you tell Kenya to make Kenya say what Kenya said. Look, y'all, we all know Phaedra is a liar. Okay, she lied when the truth is due, damn it. And she smooth. Here, one thing about Phaedra, she she will stand in her lie. I I will give her that she will stand in her lie again. <laughs> Bravo go come with their receipts. The reunion is gonna be popping. I'm I, I'm here to fucking tell you, like we starting to get the shit. We starting we're starting to really get some good stuff. The reunion is gonna be on fucking point. And then of course, you know, like I said Portia turned up. I can't I can't get mad at the turn up. I can't. Why? Because when I'm sitting amongst, you know, my enemies, I'm the chance of you seeing me sweat is slim to fucking none. And when your ass is going, I'm in the presence of a friendship, even supposed friends. That's when I'm gonna let it all out. But this is one of those where I truly, honestly, don't believe that she' ready for candy, because we didn't see candy go in a full out fucking re- like we saw the fucking. We saw the gates of hell open in her fucking eyes. We've fucking seen that. I'm, uh, y'all let me know who y'all think. I, I, my, I, if I had to put my money on somebody, I'm putting money on motherfucking candy. True fucking be told. And she even said there's something brewing with her, and I'm going to find out what it is. And it's like, see, you itching for an ass whooping. Because it's one of those where, again, if you in anger management, it's certain shit where it's like, you know what? And if you if the, if the shit dead to you, since you were all black, because I'm wearing black too, if the shit dead to you, again, why, leave it alone. Let it go. Is what the fuck it is. Um, what the fuck else? And of course, um, what's the girl name? Portia warns um, Phaedra about her uh, new friendship with uh, Kenya. And I think there was even a little slick warning on um, Ken. Next week gonna be good. And of course, um, <laughs> Sheree, Sheree, Sheree. Again, we, we we need a bitch to carry the bone back, but I know she gonna get I know she gonna get that ass headed to at the reunion. You know some real shit. And he need not do the do this reunion because like I said, he played favorites. Of course, one of his favorites is fucking damn uh, you know, uh Phaedra. But if he does any justice, I need for them to literally just go the fuck in and let have on fucking charade. That's all I got. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you. I, if all goes well, I should see you all tomorrow for Love of Hip Hop. I say that because I have 24-hour duty on Tuesday. So if you don't get a review for um, Love of Hip Hop on Monday, more than likely you will get a review on Wednesday right alongside of Little Women Atlanta. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.